Today, we're going to talk about my top five favorite meads that I made in 2021. Let's get started. All right, so 2021 was quite the year. Obviously, a lot of things happened in the world and are still happening. And in that time, I think the world of mead has expanded quite a bit. I know it has for me because I made a lot of mead in 2021. I made 62 batches of mead. So I passed my 200 mark and um, I mean, I've just made a lot of mead in that time. Some of them have been tests, a lot of them have been recipes. So today's video is about my top five mead recipes from 2021. Now I'm gonna go ahead and count down. At the very end, I do have a few honorable mentions because it was really tough to uh, pare down to these five. So we'll get there soon. So let's start with number five. So my fifth favorite mead that I made this year was my passion fruit sour mead, or as my Discord named it, the Passion Gone Sour Blues. Um, and we had a, a great time making this mead on stream, but basically it was a passion fruit mead that was hydromel strength and used the Philly sour yeast, which if you know anything about the Philly sour yeast, it is a yeast that brings out sour sides or has a mallow lactic fermentation element. So obviously this created a interesting um, pairing of the two between your passion fruit and of course, the sour side. Uh, I will be putting up the recipes so you'll see them on the screen and maybe some video if you would like to make this. But that one was super refreshing. It is, uh, I actually bottle carved it. So I kind of want to make it again and keg it since I now have that ability. But surprisingly, passion fruit and then sour in general work pretty well, especially when you add a tinge of sweetness. So that was number five. Let's go on to number Four. Number four was the very first mead that I made in 2021. It worked out really well. It was a wild yeast mead that used blueberries. I got the wild yeast from the blueberries, snow water, and then I, of course, used honey because it's a mead and back sweetened with a little bit of maple syrup. I also ended up <laughs> slightly oaking this mead. So it was super, super good. Um, I was very surprised by the wild yeast element. I didn't think wild yeast would do that well, but it's pretty good. And I taste tested it maybe about a month ago because I found a bottle. It's still pretty good. So I'm, I was a big fan of it. I would love to try it again. The hard part is, of course, it's wild yeast. So you kind of are um, at the whim of whatever they want to do. So I would recommend to try something like that. If you use snow water, of course, make sure you use clean snow. Let's go ahead and go on to number three. So this is tough for me. My top three were really close to each other and I had to kind of sit and think about it for a while because these were tough. Number three is a, or is my blueberry and cinnamon mead. Now this specifically comes from my Mace Windu Star Wars mead that I made that was blueberry and cinnamon. The pairing of those two flavors, as I found out, goes really well together. I'm a huge fan of those two flavor combinations. Um, I already love blueberry for one, but using real blueberry and honey works well. And then that cinnamon just kind of, it does what cinnamon does. It adds a little bit of kick to things, but it also adds some sweetness. I back sweetened, of course. That combination is really, really great. I would highly recommend anybody to who loves uh, either one of those things to try it together because holy cow, I will be making more of that in the future. I haven't yet, but I definitely want to do it again. Let's go ahead and go on to number two. All right, so here we have a, for number two, it was a pie mint with blueberry honey. Now here's what's tricky. This video might not be released yet. Um, I finished the video, but I'm a little ahead on my posting schedule. So you might see some sneak peek clips. Um, the original video, of course, if you're watching later on in life, will be down in the description if you want to watch the whole thing. But this was a, in this video I did, or I used a 
Cab Sav wine base, I split it into two different things and I made just the regular old wine. And then of course I wanted to do something mead related. So I threw in some blueberry honey and then oaked it and stuff like that. Super good. I was mega impressed at how well the Cab Sav wine with the blueberry honey aged. It's good enough that I am saving bottles to send off to uh, competition. So I'm hoping to send it off to a Maser Cup or some other thing and get some good scores, but go make a pie mint. Go make a pie mint with real grapes. Um, I used a wine base from a wine kit, but you can of course use any other grape base or grapes if you have them local. But number two, pie mint with blueberry honey. And last but not least, number one. I was shocked by this combination. As you know, um, there's a lot of cinnamon that flies around on this channel because I just like cinnamon a lot, but strawberry and cinnamon turned out to be fantastic. So the, in the weird thing about this one, it had strawberry and cinnamon, and then I used coriander blossom honey. Obviously that's not always attainable, but I think the, the two base things there, strawberry and cinnamon work really well as well. I hadn't fermented much with uh, strawberries, but I found out it's really fun for one. And two, it turns out to be um, pretty simple. They do have some complexity, but I thought it was very, very, very good. And I would recommend, that's why it's number one, I'd recommend you go make it. You'll see a recipe somewhere on the screen. Of course, the original video is down below for these top five. There is a video for each one of them if you would like to go back and watch those things. Um, but I made all of those meads in 2021 and they were fantastic. I remember vividly the 2020 list was a little bit easier to do because um, I, uh, I don't know, I, didn't, I had some clear winners, but then there just weren't a lot. This one was hard to do, which is why I have honorable mentions. So my honorable mentions are my mango mead, which again is an unreleased video at this point, but you might see some stuff behind me. It used the Vintner's wine base, of course, honey of sorts. I oaked it. My friends have gone crazy for it. Literally every time I bring a bottle over, they're like, we need more. <laughs> so that is becoming one of my big things in my mead house. Um, my man-made sizer, which is an apple and cinnamon sizer that is session strength is a recipe that I've been developing for a long time and I've finally hit a stride with it. It's super good. Um, I will I'll put my current recipe. I still have some alter altering that I want to do, but this is what I currently like to use with it. The next one is a buckwheat boche, which is literally me taking buckwheat honey and then bocheing it, which seems really crazy, but ended up being very, very good. Um, and then I oaked it with rum oak chips. I can't even begin to tell you how incredible it was because it was so stinking good. So good. My last one is a peach and mango honey meat. So, I used mango honey for the base and then peaches and I, I got these from these Palisade peaches from Colorado, chopped them up, did all the stuff, put them in. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking good. I only made a gallon of it and I wish I'd made 10 because it is incredible. I highly recommend to, um, to make things like this. This has been my 2021 list. Obviously 2022 now has its new things about it. I don't know what I'm going to make exactly. Um, I think I will have yet another great year of mead making because historically every year I get better at this. So 2022 is going to be my best mead making year yet. And I know it will be for you as well, as long as you keep researching, making mead and trying to get better at this hobby. Be smart. Make sure that you are constantly seeking to learn more and do more with this if you'd like to get great at it. And of course, if you want to support the channel and do all the things, hit that like, the subscribe, um, leave me a comment because that also, I want to hear your feedback, but it also helps the YouTube algorithm. If you want, really want to support the channel, my real MVPs will go and comment something below because you help even more. And uh, yeah. If you would like to support the channel one last way, there's the YouTube membership side where you can 
see my videos early, and there's some other perks to that. I have some exclusive content coming out there, and there is my Patreon page. It's the same thing. You see my content early, and I have some exclusive content coming out for select tiers there. Thank you for supporting the channel in 2021. If you haven't seen a video from the channel, go hit subscribe, watch some videos, and I hope you have a great day.